turning now to a look at inflation. Nick is at the News Nation Smart Board with a closer look at how much more you're paying for breakfast. Yeah, Ruta Bay, when economists talk about inflation, they're counting in percentages. But when everyday consumers are counting in inflation, they're counting every dollar. And we wanted to take a look at just what the cost of breakfast has been in just the last year. Let's start with eggs. Eggs, we've seen the price go from $162 for a dozen eggs in 2021 to $2.52 this year. Notice that is a 50 cents jump from just last month in March. No much better with milk. $3.45 a gallon in April 2021. It's now $4.01 in April of 2022. And here's where we've seen the biggest jump, Ruta Bay. A pound of bacon, $6.22 in April 2021. Now $7.42. We're talking about a $1.20 difference in just a year. That's a lot of money. Ruta Bay, as simple as this. These are basic items. We're not talking about dining out, doing anything fancy. So even if you are a three thrifty consumer. You can't avoid the cost of inflation. So your choices are to either increase your budget or dial back because no one knows how long this will last or how high prices will go. All right, Nick, thank you. The White House is on the defensive as rising prices dominate headlines and conversations around breakfast tables. So President Biden hit the road yesterday to see firsthand the stress that inflation is causing everyday Americans. Allison Harris is live at the White House with more. Allison, good morning. Good morning, Ruta Bay. President Biden is signaling to voters he knows that inflation is a huge problem. He's trying to tame it, saying, I can feel your frustration. The president traveling to Illinois yesterday, touring a family farm outside of Chicago, talking with farmers there who are feeling the price pinch on fuel and on fertilizer. American farmers are not only dealing with those higher prices caused by the pandemic, caused by stimulus money being pumped into the economy, supply chain problems, and the war in Ukraine. Farmers here in the U.S are also now being tasked with making up some of the food shortage that's caused by the Russian invasion. This is dramatically impacting food, food prices, driving up the cost of groceries with the Labor Department uh, reporting that food prices are up more than 9% over the past year. Right now, America is fighting on two fronts. At home, it's inflation and rising prices. Abroad, it's helping Ukrainians defend their democracy and feeding those who are left hungry around the world because Russian atrocities exist. The president yesterday announcing some actions to help those farmers increase food production and also ultimately lower prices for Americans. The president saying inflation is his top priority here at home. And you heard Nick talking about the price of eggs. Well, in California, an egg farmer there says these higher prices are keeping him up at night. My feed is up over 100%. So I'm paying over double for what I was paying for a couple of years ago. But what keeps me up at night is the inflation. All my costs, all my raising costs. Now, it's important to point out that inflation is way up as wages are also up. We do have a hot labor market in this country with the U.S. economy adding 8 million jobs since President Biden took office. But it is just still not enough to outweigh the impact of these really high prices that Americans are paying. Ruta Bay. Allison, thank you. And for more on this, let's bring in Melissa Armo. She is the founder and owner of Stock Swoosh. Good to see you. Thanks for being here. Um, so we're talking about farmers. They've been particularly hit hard with inflation. That may continue for a while in your view, right? Yes, I definitely think this could continue well into 2023. And that's a problem, not just for farmers, but it's a problem for consumers. Because again, as the reporter said, even though wages have gone up, the cost of things that you buy has gone up past what wages have increased. Yeah, and let's talk about some of those things. We're face facing continuing sticker shock on so many things across the board. Used car prices up nearly 23% over the past year. Gasoline up nearly 44%. Food over 9%. Housing up 5%. Explain what's driving this, and is there a policy prescription in Washington? Unfortunately, there really has been no solutions from Washington or the Fed to help curb this inflation problem. The Fed wants to raise rates. They think that's going to stop the problem. In fact, I think that's going to make the problem worse because if rates go up, things are going to cost more because businesses pay more. So the thing is, when you're out there and you're shopping, remember back in 2020, everyone was hoarding things because you couldn't get products? Stop hoarding because if you don't need something, don't buy it. 
check what you have and make a list before you go shopping. I, I, I myself have found that I've overbought in the last two years, and there's really no need for that. We will get through this, I'm sure, but it could last for another 12 to 18 months. Yeah, I think people have just been in that mindset for the past couple of years now. So uh, what is your outlook on the trajectory of prices? When could we see some relief? I don't think there's going to be any relief until actually some of these things that are affecting the higher costs stop. One of them is the war in Ukraine and Russia. That has affected the prices. You heard the farmers talk about that for feed and fertilizer. The other problem is too, even though we have a low unemployment rate, we actually have a lot of jobs available. There's not enough people working. We really don't have production at its highest point because a lot of these jobs haven't been filled. I think people need to get back to work. Too many people left the workforce in 2020 and 2021, and they haven't come back. And we also had way too much stimulus. People were getting stimulus checks, and then they were choosing not to work. We need to be a productive society because we need things. And so as consumers, we need want to go out. We want the service. You've seen if you've been a consumer going to the stores, the service isn't there right now. And that affects everything. Okay, Melissa Armo, thank you. Uh, not the best news, but we're glad that you delivered it anyway. Thank you. Thank you. All right, well, we have breaking news on the